A uh, totally different subject uh, matter here. Uh, as you can see, I've got my chop saw out, and uh, I've got a bunch of uh, weird looking tubing, uh, aluminum tubing, clamping, drilling. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what uh, what I'm doing today. And for that, I'm going to have to get up on the roof. So just give me a second here. Some more of that tubing here. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, my, my garage roof is shot. But uh, we're not talking about that today. Probably gonna get to that next, uh, next springtime. Hopefully, I don't get leaks before then. As you can see, uh, I'm going solar, and I've got my first two panels up. Uh, I've got my permits in just uh, about a week ago, and they told me to go ahead and build my system. So I'm going to go over some of these parts here with you, and I'll show you what uh, what I'm doing and my racking system, and how it all goes together. All right. First off, uh, these are uh, the end clamps. These are called end clamps. Uh, these are called mid clamps, and they look just like that. Okay, now the railing that I was cutting is one of your main pieces here, or one of my main pieces. But this railing here pretty much fits all these clamps in here and they butterfly open just like that. Kind of like a kind of like the Unistrut, but I don't know if you can see that, you know. There it is. It basically fits in there like that and it clamps down with using that screw. And the mid clamps do just the same thing. And then Out of here. Okay, that. Now these are my angle uh, brackets. These basically go on top of my L feet. So I'm going to show you kind of how this goes together. This is a unistrut that I've already got attached to the roof here. Uh, basically just ran it down and tied it into the rafters uh, using these lag bolts. Uh, basically drill a hole right on the center of your 2x4. Uh, finding the first one is going to be the tricky part after that. Uh, it all goes 24 inches on center uh, depending uh, on your uh, building code or uh, the time your house was built. Most of it, most everything is 24 on center as far as I know. But uh, anyways, uh, from tying into this, basically here with the bolt and they make these little unistrut uh, butterfly nuts here. Uh, if you can see that. Basically this goes on the other end of the well uh, down inside the unistrut here and you bolt whatever you want to it and basically what I'm going to be doing is bolting this L foot here to the unistrut just like that and then off of that, my angled brackets, which go something like this, and then on top of that, my railing. And then my railing is these long pieces here. And from the railing, there's a, on, on the railing, there's a notch on the side, if you can see the notch on the side there. Uh, a bolt will uh, a bolt basically slides down the channel 
just like this. Drag that in there. And that allows you to uh, bolt your angle brackets to that. Or also your, your legs, which go on the rear. And I'm going to show you those also. So I'm going to show you how I've got this one set up. And then pretty much all these little parts that I'm explaining here uh, will kind of fall into place and you'll figure out pretty quickly how they go together. So, to achieve uh, an 18 degree tilt, which is, is what you want, optimal, uh, 17 and a half, 18 degrees, uh, you've got your rear legs, which are going to be angled up for the tilt from the back. So, um, there's one of them, not installed, and there's the other one that is installed. As you can see, it's bolted down into the channel right in here. And then the upper bracket uh, slides into the rail like I was showing you here earlier with the bolt. So that goes in there. Your panels sit right flush up against the rail here. You just set them right on top. And I'll show you the end clamps. So obviously there's the end clamp because it's on the end. And that would be this little guy here. As you can see, that pretty much self-explanatory. You know. And this is the mid clamp we talked about earlier. And again, this 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 is uh, this is all stainless hardware, and the hardware is stainless so that you don't get any rust issues. Also, uh, aluminum framing, aluminum racking is all for uh, rust prevention. Uh, also, to uh, save weight. Uh, now the weight savings is is uh, is huge, and you, if I'm, actually if you're going with steel from 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 aluminum to steel, the, the weight savings is is a huge deal. So you want to keep it as light as possible, yet as strong as possible. And these uh, these this racking system has been engineered and and designed, and it's all it's all structurally sound. So anyways, there's the mid clamp, and you can see what that does is it ties two panels together, side by side with about a three quarter inch gap in, in between here. And that mid clamp there, um, I really like that uh, setup. Uh, it saves from having to do uh, two clamps instead of one. So that's pretty cool. And there's some more end clamps. I go around to the front of the system. I don't know how well we're gonna be able to see this. It's kind of low, but there we go. Okay, so on the front of the system, I've got my L feet which I had shown uh, earlier, going straight to the unistrut, which is this piece here. This is galvanized unistrut. Uh, let me go up here a little further up and see if I can get a shot from in here. Uh, that's as close as I'm gonna be able to get in there. So anyways, uh, you see you've got the L foot tied into the unistrut. Then I've got my angle brackets, which are the pivots. Uh, and that allows my rack here to angle uh, back and forth just like this, and that uh, that's what I, that's what you need uh, in order to be able to get the uh, 18 18 degree tilt, 17 and a half, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to stand back here and have you get a side view of the uh, the whole situation here. And there's a side view there. I'm setting these up in landscape mode. These panels are going in landscape mode, which basically means they're just going, just like a portrait. They're going in landscape, I'm sorry, a portrait would be portrait mode, uh, and in which these panels would be uh, flipped 180 degrees here. So this is landscape mode, obviously just like a, just like a picture when it's in landscape, uh, it's, it's landscape, and then the portrait would be when they would be standing up. Uh, and at this point here, if I were to stand these up, uh, in portrait mode, I would have a very long leg at the end and they'd be standing up really high. So uh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I wanted to keep them as low to the uh, roof as possible. So that's why I did it this way. And there's another shot of it. Uh, these panels are uh, Canadian Solars. Uh, these are Canadian Solar 255 watt. You can see that. There you go. Uh, these are 255 watt system uh, panels, 
and what I'm going to be doing here, I've got permit uh, to build 17, to put a 17 panel system up here, uh, but I have 30 panels total, so as soon as uh, I get these done uh, and um, basically get a little more funds together, I'll be putting up the other 13, and the reason well, actually, I'll be putting up another 17. I'm going to do uh, 34 panels total, so i got to buy four more panels. But I'd have a really pretty pretty damn good system at, uh, at 34 panels. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm working away on this. Uh, I wanted to show my racking. This racking here is actually called Dual Rack. Uh, it's from the solar uh, distributor that uh, I bought my panels from. They came out with their own racking. And some of the stuff is a copy of other companies, but... Uh, it's all made here in the U.S., so I like that about it, and um, it's pretty solid. And basically, the engineering behind it is all, you know, uh, for the area here. It's, it gets windy. Um, I get a little bit of wind, uh, not not too much, but as you can see, I've got my, <coughs> most of my wind comes from from that way. Uh, that's south. That's uh, facing south there. Uh, if uh, sometimes we'll get a, a direct, a, a reverse directional wind from the back, and basically they call that. Uh, uh, what happens then is I start getting a lift on the back of these panels here, and they call that uh, the lift factor. So they've they've engineered uh, this to, to withstand um, certain mile an hour winds, uh, and the weakest point on on it before anything broke was the actual. Um, lag bolt going into your rafter, uh, getting uh, getting pretty much pulled out of its uh, position. So I know these are pretty solid racks, and uh, I got a buddy of mine that went with these, and they're they've been up there for five six years now, and he hasn't had any issues at all. So uh, we're good on that, and I, I feel confident that these are going to do the job. But anyways, that's that's what I'm working on today. Uh, hopefully by the end of the day I'll have uh, a full setup up here. Uh, if everything goes good, you know how that goes. So uh, I'll see you on the next video. I just wanted to shoot this and uh, hopefully have uh, uh, some people see uh, the solar thing and and uh, you know pretty much get people to go solar or have uh, have maybe a little more comfort or or uh, you know ideas on on how to do it or or whatnot. But uh, go ahead and if you have any questions, I can help. I might be able to help you with. Give me a give me a message on there and. Uh, we'll, I'll try to, I'll try to guide you or put links uh, up for you to, you know, to show where I've got all my stuff. So maybe that might help somebody out. But anyways, uh, signing off on this one, and we'll see you on the next round.